Right. Okay. I think we're good to go. So hello, welcome. Sorry about the really bad start. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm doing a kind of secret first test live stream before my official first one tomorrow. So this is all a, a massive experiment for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. But today I thought I would just show you how to um, rig a cutout eye um, in Toon Boom Harmony. So let me just get my thing set up and working properly. There we go. Okay, so I've drawn a quick character here on the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rig his eyes in slightly different ways, just so you can see how to do it with the um, in, in node view. Um, so if you see down here, I've got my sketch layer, which is the character. So let me just highlight all of that. Um, so there he is there, and I, I've, I've, I've drawn him in a kind of sketchy blue colour, which is down here, and I can change that to whatever I want to by selecting them all, which is Apple A, hitting green, or whatever colour I want. So I've got him there in this kind of light blue sketchy line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, um, so drawing, and I'm going to call this I1, and go add. And for the first eye, I'm going to do it with a polyline. So I'll do the ellipse tool, and actually, and I'll just draw a circle that's roughly the the right size. And I'm going to fill that on the color art layer. So if you select it, and then go to this little mattress button here, which is create color art from line art, and then go to the color art layer, which is down here on your side. You can fill that with white. And then what I'm going to do is just create a new layer. I'm going to first of all turn turn it off for a second. So with the eye the eyeballs, and I'm going to create a new layer, new drawing layer. And I'll call this pupil one. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same again, but just create the pupil on this layer instead. And I'll fill that. Let's go for blue, but that's a bit bright that blue. So I'm going to create a new blue. And do a slightly nicer color blue. Name that color our pupil. Like so. I'll, I'll just fill that in blue. And I'll also make the lime there blue as well. It's actually very similar to my sketch color. And I'm also going to add a little highlight. So I'm going to select white with the paintbrush. My mouse cursor is disappearing really badly. There it is. And just add a little highlight on the eye. Okay, so if you go to drawing window, you'll see that. The, let's put that onto the line art. So I've got my my pupil, and then I've got my eye with the color on the color art layer. So that's the first one set up. So I'm going to turn that back on now. And what I'm going to do is go to over to the node view. And click on the display button here, and then I'm up on your toolbar at the top. You've got this one that says um, "Order Node View Up." So I'm going to click on that and go OK, um, and then you'll see it's organised it for me nice and neatly. So here is our pupil and our eye, and what I'm going to do is go to my node library, and I'm going to search for a cutter. Hang on, cancel. Here it is, and you click on it and you drag it into the window. Now the cutter works really, really easily. And basically what you have to do is you have to add the thing that you want to cut into the right hand side here. If you look at the little nodes, one of them has a sort of dot in the middle. And that's the one you want to add the thing that you want to cut to. So in this case, we want to cut the pupil. So I'm going to take that line and stick it into the cutter. And then the, the, the thing you want to use as the mask, which in our case, your mask, that's right. In our case, it's the eye I'm going to take and put into the other side. Um, I'm also going to take another line out and stick it back into the composite, which is the kind of the final image. And then you take the bottom of the cutter and you drag that down to the composite there. So if we go to our camera view now, um, the pupil has disappeared. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our node view, click on the cutter options, and go to inverted, and then go close. And now, hopefully, what we'll see is our pupil is now 
in the right place. So if I, if I, if I zoom in and move it, you'll see that it, it cuts, but it cuts it on the edge of the eye, which obviously doesn't look quite good because it needs to cut on this inside line. And there's two ways to fix that, and I'll show you. So if I, if I leave it there for now, for example, so go to the um, node view again, and there's, there's two ways of doing it. So again, the first simple way is if you go to your node library and type in uh, line and find line art and drag that up. What we can do is we can take the line art from the eye, so connect the eye to the line art, uh, which obviously will then only show the line art, not the color art, and put that on top of the the um, of the composite, so that goes above the cutter, and now you'll see that that cuts it really nicely, the way it should be. The other way to do it is let's get rid of that for a second. Is to go to the, your um, node library again, and to go to auto patch, and then what you do is in this line that joins the eye to the cutter, you hold you drag the auto patch, hold down alt and then it automatically links it in for you. And again if we now go to the cutter you'll see it's also I mean, to the eye sorry, it's also working the same as it was with the line art. So that's the first eye done. And now I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the second eye and I'll, uh, but I'm going to do this rather than using the lines I'm going to use a, pa uh, a paintbrush uh, and to show you how it kind of works that way. So I'm going to use my paintbrush, I'm going to go over and find my black and then I need to create a new layer. So go down to the top on the eye, click the plus, drawing layer and I'm going to call this eye 2. And then I'm simply going to just draw over my sketch. Ugh. Well, now that I've got going, it feels a bit more normal now, which is good. Um, I'm just going to tidy up those lines. So I'm just going to select them. Over here, there's a flatten button. So in the tool properties, you can flatten your lines together. They all become one. And then using my contour editor, which is the white arrow, I'm going to just straighten up these these points to make it a bit smoother, a little bit nicer. Like so, that will do. So that kind of all do this bit here as well. Um, so that gives me a much more kind of hand drawn feel to it, rather than the perfect circle. We've got a slightly more kind of hand drawn feel which I quite, I quite like actually I, I prefer that um, again I've stuck it on the colour art layer so I'm just going to take it, copy it, delete it and then stick it onto the line art layer um, and again we need to fill it again so using the, the select tool press the little mattress button go to your um, paintbrush select white and we'll just fill that on there you can also do this in the drawing window as well um, there it is hasn't done it on the right layer so copy delete onto there okay so that's our second eye ready and again I'm going to now create another drawing layer and call it pupil 2 and this time I'm going to turn off that eye I want to come in and do pupil With the little same little highlight again, so they're roughly the same size. That will do. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to turn off my sketch for a second, just so we can just see the eyes. Turn the eye back on. So we now we've, so we've now got a drawn version and a kind of line version. And again, I'm going to go to the node view again, and we're just I'm just going to rig these in the same way. So we've got the pupil and the eye. So I'll go to my node view and get my cutter first, drag that in and once again we're going to take the pupil which is the thing that we, that we want to cut and stick it into the right hand side. 
I'm going to take another line from the eye and drag that into the left hand side and I'm going to drag the cutter down to be above the uh, original eye line going down to this composite. Okay, so then if we go to it again, you'll see that the pupil has disappeared because we need to invert the cutter. So I'm going to invert the cutter and go OK. And notice it's popped back again, as we did before. If I just test it, you'll see that the pupil goes right to the outside edge of the line, which is not good. Um, so we need to change that. Oh, let's just reinvert that. So I'm going to stick in, let's do the line art on this one. So I've got the auto patch over here for this one. I will do the line art variety on this one. Let's take the line art. You take the line art from the eye into the line art and then down onto the composite. And now if we do another little test, you should see that that is really nice. That goes well. So let's go back to our timeline turn on our sketch and then we have a character with two slightly different eyes but obviously slightly but one drawn one done with the line um, I thought what I'd also do just very quickly as I've got a bit of time still is I would sort of show you how to do eyelids within it now this is one way of getting around that problem as well is that if you do a kind of basic eyelid it, that covers up that issue anyway but also what you can do is you, is you can create a eyelid with a cutter um, so that you can actually move the eye up and down rather than it being in different images you can actually use it really really flexibly um, so I will create again both of those different varieties so let's start with I1 just for a, a second and I'll do the basic eyelid first so I'm going to go to I1 go new drawing and do eyelid1 and go add and close. So what I want for this one is I want to take with the select tool is take the line from the eye, copy it, and then add it to the eyelid layer. So we should have just the circle on the eyelid layer here. Now what I want to do is, is I'm just going to extend these out a few frames. So I'll just go up to the timeline, select we're using shift all of them and hit F5 and that extends all the images out now for 10 frames. So the, obviously the eye, uh, you want for an um, eyelid, you want the first frame to be the open eyelid, so that basically they will, will be the same as the eye. And obviously when the eye is open, you won't even notice the eyelid layer is there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along to the second frame on the eyelid and hit the um, Make New Drawing button, which is this one here, or Duplicate Drawing, and that makes a second one. If we go up to our library window, you'll see there's now two different um, versions of that image. So in the drawing layer, I'm going to go to a line and I'm going to put in an eyelid. And using the contour editor, I'm just going to grab it and bend it slightly. And then using the, the toggles, just make it a slightly nicer line. And now I'm going to fill the top of that. And let's just make a quick skin color. Half, I'd say. Um, and then again, what I would normally do is go along again to the third frame, create another one, go to the drawing layer, delete those bits, and then fill the whole thing in um, like it's shutting. So now we have a blink. And for example, now if I go to the second frame, take hold of the pupil and move that around, if I just pop over to this node window for a second, if I turn off the auto patch by selecting the box and hitting D, oh, no, one second, I've got to put the eyelid. So the eyelid is currently behind everything. So if I bring that forward and make that the top thing, so there's no auto patch now, so that problem shouldn't exist. So for example, if I turn off the eyelid, you'll see that that cuts through there. But if I turn the eyelid back on, it's kind of masking it automatically. Um, which is which is obviously one way of getting around that problem. So if you're doing this, this eyelid, then you haven't got to worry about adding an auto patch or a line art layer. Um, so that works really well. And also you can change the frame to do the eyelid. So that's one way of doing it. And in the library, you can select the frame that you want over here. Come on, there you are. So you can pick. So you got lots of different options of eyelid there, and you can pick it, and it will change it in the window for you like so. 
Okay, so that's that one done. The other, let me just undo that a bit. The other way of doing it is a slightly more advanced eye, which is a which is a cutter as well. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to create. Um, let's drag that down to there. I'm going to create another drawing layer, and this one is going to be eyelid two, add and close. Now on this one, I actually want to make it a lot bigger than the eye shape. So I'm going to go to black, and you'll see this is the hand-drawn version. I'm going to take a line through the middle of the eye to make it a lot bigger, like so. And I'm going to take it up and make a really, really big eyelid. And I'm going to fill that with, come on, where have you gone? There you are. My eyelid colour. And now what I'm going to do is use another cutter to use the eye again to, to cut that for me. So going to the node view, here's my other eyelid. Um, I'm going to go to my node library, find cutter. Nope. Computer says no. Here we go. So what I want is I want this to be cut, so I'm going to take that line and pop it into the right hand side of my new cutter. I then want to use the line art from the I2, so I want to take another line from the I2 and stick it in there. And then I'm going to put that, it's getting a little bit confusing here, let me just drag this out of the way a bit. There we go. I'm going to drag this down underneath that line there. So now, obviously it's behind it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use the cutter, invert it, and now it's cut that for me. So I can move this up and down, and also you can keyframe that as well. So over time you could keyframe that really nicely. Um, so obviously, rather than just sort of jumping between the different images, actually you could do a nice smooth transition, like if he's lowering his eyes or if he's blinking really slowly or he's tired. You can add some real detailed little bits of animation in there just to make that look a bit nicer. And obviously all the other bits still work in the same way. So that is how to rig an eye. Hopefully that has solved um, any issues you might be having with the cutter and doing the eyes. Um, obviously I'd love to hear how you get on with it. Um, please do send me anything, any problems you have and I will try and solve your issues if you're having any. So thank you for watching and I'll be back again tomorrow uh, and I'll say bye for now. <laughs> All right, bye.